Hello from Hi-Fi News. My name is Ville Santico. If you have any core radio related information, a new products or anything like that, please leave me a comment in the dis uh, comment section or in Facebook or in uh, email. Somewhere here is the um, addresses for them. Now let's straight dig into our news. Uh, in CES 2018, Massive Audio announced a new subwoofer line of a BOA series megawoofers. Now it's the biggest and baddest from the Massive Audio with a neodymium design, neodymium motor. Now, but that motor looks quite similar. I have seen that. Um, oh, here, Digital Designs uh, released this image in the Instagram page. Uh, telling that a brand X is attempting to copy uh, their motor design. Now it's very similar. It's black. It has the red line over there. It says a, a red massive audio. But uh, all the neodymium magnets are probably made in China. So with some cost, you can make your brand own uh, similar looking uh, design for your subwoofer. So probably it's copying. Uh, massive audio is copying from digital signs. Now many brands has made that and brands together uh, tend to make similar kind of products. Maybe it is completely new uh, system, new design, but hey, it looks really the same. Uh, straight into next news, in CES 2018 also Alpine announced their new head unit. This ILX F309 with a Halo 9 inch display. Uh, uh, seen in the video here. It has bevel edges and it looks really nice. It's designed to fit in one DIN uh, slot. So you have uh, most of the cars can fit one DIN uh, radio inside but not with the big screen. So if you want let's say reverse camera or Netflix uh, going on your Alpine head unit. Actually I've tested many of Alpine head units and all of them which have H HDMI in, you can put a Chromecast in it and play Spotify, Netflix, Wireplay, um, what is this, Twitch or anything streaming software you can play in your Alpine head unit which makes it more entertainment, more multimedia device. Now this has a uh, slide outwards the display with a, a little hinge where you can align your um, monitor better. It is like the ILX 702, which uh, I've been uh, telling about in this channel. I put a, a link somewhere up there, uh, and you can check it out. Uh, but it uh, only it it is uh, it was a two DIN radio uh, with a one DIN chassis. But this has the nice new uh, monitor on it, so you can little wiggle it around and make it look like it's yours. It also has this Conway. Um, uh, cars have the canways where you can uh, set these temperatures, uh, air climate sensors or reverse camera or this uh, uh, connectivity and it also has Android Auto and a uh, Apple, what is this, um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto also built inside. So it is very nice new Alpine head unit. Check it out, link in description. Now next on to the next news, DevBonds is an old brand. It was Alford Audio and the DevBonds was the biggest subwoofer. Now Alford Audio is going away, the name brand is going slightly uh, behind, it's coming a only DevBonds. The name is DevBonds DB and the new, uh, the biggest subwoofer will be Apocalypse. Uh, theme. Uh, the name brand will be Apocalypse, so all the subwoofers which were Def Bonds are now Apocalypse series. It has also Black, Hi Black Hydra series, which has very nice sound quality uh, speakers. And the Avatar series. Avatar series is a budget SPL. It is probably the most bought uh, uh, subwoofers and amplifiers, because they are capable of producing like 3000 3, watt amplifiers and a very big beefy subwoofers, not the highest neodymium or biggest subwoofers, the budget size. And it also has these Machete series, which are really, very, very entry, entry level subwoofers with a very, very cheap and very good design, actually. I have been testing this Machete Sport. Uh, it's not a super sport, it's the uh, old version of the sport. I can put also a uh, uh, link somewhere up there, so you can check that out, my review of that uh, subwoofer. 
it was very nice. Now inside in here in Finland, this is mostly Finnish news uh, now for a couple of times. So we have these eight-inch aeroports. So they are uh, coming now. We have a let's see the image there. Uh, we have in color, colors black, uh, clear, so you can put like LED lights over it, and the a uh, pink now with a three-inch, four-inch, six-inch, and now in eight-inch. It will cost around 70 euros a piece where they come available, but they are coming 8 inch aeroports. They are very good. I, and on to the next news my subwoofers. I have the six of these in my car Digital Designs 9515K D1 ESP Supercharge are now uh, on markets to buy here in Finland. They cost 1200 euros, they are quite a cost, but Oh boy, they are very good subwoofers. Also, I put link up there if you want to check my review in English about this uh, subwoofer. Very nice subwoofer. And on to the next next news here. Uh, also in CES 2018 was a release of Hertz CPK1665 Pro. It is a Cento series speaker. Now something to keep in mind in these new Cento speakers, they are better than high energy, but not as good as high Mille or Mille Pro uh, series. But oh boy, do they eat wattages. So underneath here, you can see that it has power handling of continuous power RMS 105 watts and a peak of 315 watts. It is a huge amount of watts into the uh, two-way front end with a passive crossover and also the sensitivity of these speakers are over 90 they are 92.5 so if you're planning to use a small amount of wattage uh, a very nice sound front end try Hertz new Cento series they also come in coaxials uh, with a slightly less I think it was 200 uh, 285 peak wattage power handling but Just to keep in mind, if you want, well, all the Hertz low-end products and the high-end products has very high sensitivity and the sound is nice. Uh, so th these these are the quite. I would like like to have one of these series to test out how good they sound. I have the cheapest one, 69 euros. It was DSK for one one six fives on my car. They sound really nice. Only the tweeter is too harsh, too. Too rough, but I think this could be a very nice replacement for those cheap DS key series. Now to the next next news here. Uh, oh, uh, actually, it's not available anymore. So um, Ural Sound uh, in f oh oh this is quite embarrassing. But anyhow, uh, Ural Sound from Russia. It is a similar brand to Pride Audio, Def Bonds, and this Ural Sound. I think it's somewhere around Pride Audio and DB is probably the best. Maybe, uh, well, DB has very nice uh, these world records in DB drag racing, and the Ural Sound is the cheapest. Uh, they, it doesn't mean they suck, but I haven't actually tested any of those. I have just looked pictures and checked the pricing. I will uh, probably having in this year few of their. Uh, products here to show you in English what they are like Ural Sound. Uh, they are, it is very interesting brand because they are so cheap speakers, subwoofers, big subwoofers, uh, up to 4K, uh, to, uh, actually three or 4K amplifier powers and all sets of um, active front ends or mid uh, mid or bullet tweeters. Uh, it's a, it's a very variable brand and cheap brand also. Now on to the next uh, Dayton Audio here in Finland. Finally, um, Dayton Audio is a brand which uh, which has very nice looking subwoofers. They are more like home car audio, uh, home audio or car audio sound quality wise speakers. Uh, the Ulti Ultimax here 15, I think it was this one UM1522. Yes, this one dual two or voice calls. This was a very nice. It, it uh, I played in free air, and the uh, build quality was was very good, and the free air frequency went very down, and uh, it just had the good feeling of a really good brand, a really uh, uh, nice subwoofer. 
uh, I'll try to make a English video about this woofer later this year probably uh, well well let's see let's see uh, I haven't made it or uh, but I have tested it and lastly uh, in this uh, hi-fi audio hi-fi news we have audio system here in Finland also now audio system has a I think it was over 400, 500 different uh, set of speakers, subwoofers and amplifiers. Now here, here in Hi-Fi Store webpage, uh, you can see it has very from a very high end four and a half thousand watt mono amplifiers. Le uh, audio system HX362 cost like a thousand euros. It is a, a, a very, very high end AB class amplifier. So it is a brand new brand here in Finland. I haven't tested any of these. Well, one CO35.4, a this little mini amplifier. Uh, I put a link up there here so you can check it out. I think it was also in English. So very interesting brand also here in Finland. And I'm hoping to make more uh, connections with them and test more amplifiers and uh, subwoofers and speakers from this brand. Now, this was uh, my first English hi-fi news. Sorry for being uh, talking uh, slowly. I need to think about very much as this is not my native language, but I'm learning more and more uh, to how to speak in English uh, for you. Thanks for watching. And if you have any core audio news, something maybe uh, more like Europe wise, because but lots of uh, in, in America there is um, much very nice brands like Ora, Orion and uh, Sundown Audio and Scar Audio. But in, in, here in Europe we have all uh, less brands. I think we have less brands than in uh, America. So uh, if you have any news, I would love to have them and explain them and check them out. So leave me a message and we we'll see you on the next Hi-Fi News. Oh! I forgot one thing, sorry about that, Massive Audio. Uh, Massive Audio here in Finland will have a new uh, amplifier, full range amplifiers. Uh, Massive Audio, it was the brand with the digital designs, uh, fake motor or uh, copied motor. Now the full range amplifiers has this, uh, I hope they are better than the uh, old D amplifiers they are now using. They look really nice, the amplifiers they have now in brands. Actually, I can show them really quickly here. If I open here and put massive, massive audio. Uh, they are really nice looking, but they don't give uh, as much power as it looks. Uh, when, if you are checking out, let's just open something. If, if you check a massive audio Drago 5K amplifier, Wikidivis in YouTube tested the Drago 5K and it output like 3000 300 or 3600 wattages. So if you have a brand name of 5k on it uh, and it outputs only 3k, uh, so that makes it a bad amplifier in my taste because if you are buying a 5k amplifier, you should get around 5k, not 3k. Now let's hope this new uh, full range uh, high end uh, amplifier for massive audio will output more power. That's about it on this video. Uh, it has been already way, way too long. See you on the next video. Leave a comment. Bye bye.